Okay, you guys hear that music? That is our Vancouver jam. That's what we like to call it. Vancouver. But it signals the time to talk about our neighbors to the north. All week long, we're reporting live from Vancouver, showing you places that make the community unique. Now, we could be coming to your city next because this is sort of a plan of ours. We want to get out there. We want to experience all the great areas within our viewing area. But again, Vancouver is where we start because they have a huge weekend coming up with the opening of that waterfront project. That's right, and there are three farmers markets that run throughout Vancouver. And this morning, we're taking you to the Franklin Street Market. It's every Wednesday, and today is actually the last one of the season. It's going to be great weather for it. KGW's Tim Gordon is live at that location right now to tell us all about it. Good morning, Tim. Yeah, good morning, Nina. It is a great day for you. I'm out here without a jacket on. It feels uh, just great. The party gets started here on Franklin Street about 10 o'clock this morning. This is the Public Services Center here just near the courthouse. Uh, if you live in Vancouver, it's safe to say you've probably been to the Big Farmer's Market on Saturdays over by Esther Short Park. That's about a half mile from here. This one is on Wednesdays, as you said, during the summer, all right here on Franklin Street. Uh, before I tell you more about it, let's share some more of our tips that we're getting from you folks out there, the best spots in Vancouver, Devon is giving Lewitt Brewery in downtown Vancouver a big shout out. He says it just won a medal for the at the Great uh, American Beer Festival in Denver last weekend. Go Lewitt! It's a great brewery and it's one of uh, many up here in Vancouver that uh, really pouring some great beer, beer these days. Another viewer also suggested Vancouver Lake. They say it's underappreciated. It's a nice big lake and a nice park to go with it. Use the hashtag I am up PDX to tell us about your favorite places. Hey, I got to sit down with one of the vendors who comes out here to the farmer's market took a trip to her farm to learn all about her harvest in Vancouver. Here it is. Well, right now I have still have some tomatoes and cucumbers and eggplants. I do lots of greens. Um, I have corn. And the list goes on for Lindsay Jacobs. Her sprout and blossom farm is hitting the final stretch of the season, but still going strong. She's trading produce for use of a couple of acres of prime Vancouver soil. The 26-year-old's farming organically all by hand. It's definitely hard work, but I get to be outside. Like today, it's really beautiful. Some days it's not. And then, yeah, just having your hands in the soil can be, it's very healing, it's very grounding, and then it's really rewarding. Rewarding in many ways. Lindsay is selling a lot of her produce at the Vancouver Farmer's Market. The Virginia transplant has been here for four years. They really like lettuce, but I don't have any lettuce because it was so hot. The farming has connected her to Vancouver. It's been really nice to just feel to connect and like talk with all the people here, especially because I didn't really know anything about it. Um, Pretty friendly folks? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's very friendly as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, that Pacific Northwest charm, so a little quirky but it's fun. <laughs> Enjoying life out west in the late season sun and the fall colors with the occasional surprise you can see if you look close. He's so cute. <laughs> I hope you look. That was a great little green frog in the kale. And by the way, she didn't pick that piece of kale. It did not make it into the bin uh, for sale. The frog stays at the farm. Uh, so that was really a nice uh, visit. We're going to have uh, more folks at 6 o'clock, including the head of the farmer's market for Vancouver. Again, three locations. The big one right down near the waterfront at Estuary Shore Park. Uh, that runs through October. And so some big weekends to go. I mean, they draw nearly 10,000 people of that thing over the weekends. So it is a major attraction here in Vancouver. Talking all about it coming up a little later on. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in Portland. That's fantastic. That That is one of my favorite things, Tim. I can't wait to see more. I'm going to miss that about summer is the I know. farmer's market. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Only a few of them stay open in the winter. I was going to say, yeah, they have extended some, but yeah, a lot of them are closing down now for the mm -hmm. season. So.